Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. Today is Sunday, the 26th of February 2023, and I'm reviewing this very, very requested review this Polar Patroller and Little Monster Fortnite figure. Very requested because people didn't know it existed, and I am lucky to have in my possession two. Uh, some people uh, think they might be production ones that are going to be recalled because of limited articulation in an elbow uh, that's what someone told me whether they're right or wrong i will check out in a moment possibly that black elbow there might have limited articulation i can't really tell there but either way i'm happy to have them on the back it shows that there is a monk so i've not got isabella who i've reviewed not sure if i've published that one yet uh fusion the what's that is that can't read that is it xcf version don't want to get that white version perfect shadow who i'm looking for eternal voyager who i've got unvaulted ruin that interest me and limited edition slurp bandolette who i've got too and have i done her review yes i have but again i'm not sure if i've published it yet bear in mind that some of the videos you are watching if you're watching youtube might have been made maybe two weeks three weeks ago depending on what's come out what i've published if you want to see everything as soon as it's published or uploaded please join the patreon link in the top right of your screen now uh otherwise you have to wait until i've actually even get a chance to publish it on youtube and i do one a day on youtube on patreon as soon as it's uploaded i will publish it pretty much okay looks pretty cool i do love the the bear chunky look but looks too short for like a polar bear polar patroller or whatever he's supposed to be or polar dog, I don't know. Uh, but we'll have a look at that a bit later when I unbox him and do a sort of comparison and whatnot. Okay, so let me unbox him and set him up and let's get into this. So here he is. He does look pretty cool. Um, the thing about the elbow appears to be true because that black uh, elbow there, or the elbow of the, or the arm with the black sort of a forearm band has very limited articulation. Uh, this might be one that's just like a production, pre-production copy to get the approval and may have failed, but I've got two of them. So I guess the seller works in the factory and someone works in the factory. I say that because some of the joints are loose. Same with the foundation. I've got four of the foundation and I'll show you him later. He's also on Patreon if he hasn't been published on YouTube yet, which is an amazing figure, but got a couple of loose joint issues. And this one's got a couple of loose joint issues too. Looks really good. And this is the little monster. Which looks really nice. It looks like they'll go really well with your smaller sort of Fortnite figures. No backwards is a shame. Or with your sort of Acid Rain B25 figures. And apparently he can fit in that. I guess his feet could fit into that sort of footwell there. But it's a nice looking car. A bit too gimmicky really for my uh, liking. Especially for this scale. We'll see how he fits in a bit later. But it's a pretty cool paint job. Let's look at him. More needs to be done, I think, on the head. It's not really menacing. It looks a bit too small. Chunky body. This here is removable, but if we look underneath, there appears to be zero detail. So if you take it off, you have like a blank body underneath. Arms are quite nice. We've seen this rocket launcher before, I think, or grenade launcher before, wherever it is, with uh, some other figures. Oh, he's got a little tail. And it's articulated. It's an extra point of articulation. Pretty cool. This is the arm with the limited articulation. It's got these shells going around there. Uh, feet are pretty nice as well, but you can see that this one, the joint is pointing out to this side, where the other one is straight. So, and look how loose he is on that. Is he even pushed in? He's pushed in. Just, he's very loose on that body. He's a decent looking figure. Can he sit inside as he is on that little thing? I'm not sure if he can. That just looks way too near. How's he going to get his feet in there? Let's have a look. I don't know how he's going to get his feet in that. Yeah, it's, he's, he can't sit in that. Well, I can't make him sit in that. I guess he's meant to, but I'm going to struggle. Let me have a quick look on the packaging again and quickly have a, a look. See, on the uh, packaging, they've got the, you can see here, emote for four inch figs. Well, he's in a, he will struggle to fit in that. Other four inch figs might, but you could get them to fit, but I don't think it's, it's worth the hassle, just the uh, maneuvering and pushing. Look how, far these, how wide his thighs are too, to get them to fit into that. Woohoo! Whee! So yeah, I shan't be using them in that. 
So let's have a look at his articulation, see what it's like. So we already know that he's got that plus one point on his tail, which is nice. So head is a left and a right. There is an up and a down, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, not a side to side. You could pop the head off. Appears to be a normal four, Fortnite head, perhaps. Uh, shoulders. He gets uh, over flat and flat. So his left arm is worse than his right. Bicep. Right hand's pretty good, almost 90. Left hand, check this out. That's straight. That's the bend. Literally, there's like nothing there. I mean, I could do something by shaving down here and a little bit there, and I'll get maybe another click, maybe two. That's just a terrible bend. Uh, wrists both appear to be gun articulation, and they do swivel around. Yeah, both are gun. Uh, he has trunk, but with his vest on, it's quite limited. He has waist. Still can go forwards a little bit, backwards a little bit. Sideways a tiny bit, and he can turn really well. But this vest has no clear way of taking off. You'd have to literally take his body apart and maybe his head off, and then just, I guess, slide upwards over his arms, maybe? Or, quite has been difficult either way. Or heat it up and stretch it and, st and take it off. But as I said before, if we look underneath, there is no sign of any... Any, what's the word? Any sculpting. If I get the light on here... You know, it looks very... Plain underneath. There's something on there, but... Not as, not as going to be worth taking his vest off to see. Uh, hips... Unusually for Fortnite, not very far. It appears that these pockets on the sculpting on the back here are getting away with his hips going outwards, which is a shame. Forwards is, yeah. Backwards is, yeah. Five twist as we expect. Double kneecap. He has got chunky legs. But, oh, that is really stiff. Let's try this one. There we go. Chunky legs, but he still gets way over 90 degrees a bit loose as i said uh feet he has a small swivel it's almost a boot term, but it does change angle he has a pretty decent tippy toe it's not too bad to be fair his dorsiflexation is rather good look at that very quite cool it's just that Shoulder, but more the bicep that's letting him down articulation. But he's a nice looking figure nonetheless. I think that head will pop off quite easily. Have a quick try now. We can just have a look at the little monster when I'm trying that. Yeah! Well, I can see without popping off, it is a Fortnite head. So I, obviously, it's a standard Fortnite fit, so but I'm not going to pop it off without hot water, I think. So let's stand him up. Let's get an idea of size. Let me put him over here. I'll move this one just there for now. Just keep it just there for now. So size in CM. He appears to be ten and a half, so a bit small. He's just a bit bulkier than your normal figures. Now, if I compare him to, is it Spiro Toys, uh, Animals of War Kingdom? I've got, I've got uh, one of the deluxe ones here. Belarus, or Belarus, like the country perhaps, who is a bear, Rawr. and it is a visible size difference. It'd be nice if he was more closely scaled to there, uh, and even his head is not really that well scaled, even to do a head swap, which is a shame. If I use another Fortnite figure, I'll use Phoenix because he's an animal one too, and he's a fantastic figure. Really, I'm not normally into this sort of animal figures, but Phoenix is like a great job. Who is also obviously a fox. You can see he's bigger than your standard uh, Fortnite figure there. Now, I will also show, as I said I would, uh, the foundation. I think it's the foundation dark, this one. Just turn him on, because yes, he does have batteries inside, because his head lights up. An amazing figure, but he's got loose joints. Ah! It can be quite hard to stand there, right? You can see that foundation dark with his glowing head is maybe a touch taller than this Polar Patroller, which is a shame. Because the Patro Polar Patroller, <laughs> tongue twister, is quite butch and broad, you know. 
just that he could have been a bit broader and a little bit taller and have been a better figure but having said that he is still really cool and even if he's not an official production release one i'm happy to have in my collection happy to have two because i can keep one sealed and this one i can chop up cut up use for something else repaint whatever i want but i think i might just keep him as he is maybe just shave down that bicep and the form a little bit to improve his uh his articulation uh, so again, you can find these three or these two on YouTube already. This one may be on Patreon. Well, this one is on Patreon. I'm not sure if he's published on YouTube yet. But you can check my channel and see that. Let's just take these uh, these guys away and have a look at little monster truck again. Turn him off. Okay, so he won't fit not easily. Let's try Phoenix. See, Fennex's legs just go apart when he comes forward on that, so you have to squeeze his legs together. So even he is going to be really difficult to get in there. Ah, and his feet are bigger. Look at that. Yeah, it's not. It's not looking good. Now, if you've got a smaller figure, and I've I am working on the custom at the moment, so I've got a load of these uh, Narnia dwarfs, which I'm going to be using as gnomes in my fantasy world. Now, I won't show this one because he hasn't got the articulation, but this one. Who I've taken his head off and I've added lots of articulation shoulders, biceps, hips, knees, ankles, blah blah blah. Has got the articulation. So this guy, his legs only go that far forward, but my guy here, bang, his legs are all the way forwards, his arms come forwards, he's got bicep bend, bloody 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 blah, blah, blah etc. Very, very cool. He's got the uh, ankle articulation too. Legs can come together. I'll try with him and I'm going to make a video for my Patreons only about this project I'm doing. So if you want to see that, you can join the Patreon. And you can cancel any time on Patreon. So it's not an issue if you don't like what you see. He sits particularly well in there. And I just noticed, look, check this out. Realize that. Oh, look, it's got, it's got suspension. How cool is that? So yeah, my little dwarfs can drive, drive, can drive into battle on little monster here. Or if you've got like your Fortnite Legendary Micro Series, see top right corner for a review of some of those. Those figures, they should be to fit also your Acid Rain B25 or B25 figures in general. And I think your Star Wars Mission Fleet figures will fit nicely in this too. That's actually much better than I thought now that Rosie got suspension. And even a little lip, ah, with a little lip, it can still climb up. Pretty, pretty cool. So I take it back, that, that vehicle is pretty cool. Particularly got smaller figures like uh, I have. So we have Polar Patroller. Let's put this sort of rocket launcher in the... Uh, Little monster there, and little monster from Fortnite. Nice set. I'm not sure when it's gonna be available to the general public. I picked it up here in China on a shopping app where I suspect some of the sellers actually work in the factory, judging by some of the things that I've got, and I haven't seen anywhere else available. But here he is, pretty cool. Again, if you like our content and want to see more as soon as it's published, please consider joining the Patreon. You can cancel anytime, and please subscribe to this channel, like, share this video if you want, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay happy, keep collecting.